Hey guys, it's Susan Black again. And the title of my Facebook Live is Depression is Real. And what can we do to help somebody with depression? And I'm just going to be real with you guys. I've shared with you before that my husband has a diagnosis, uh, diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's disease. And I've never had an issue with depression or anything like that. Um, but for whatever reason, depression has kind of um, struck me over the last couple years. And I'm the type of person who feels like I've got it under control. And just lately, though, I don't understand why it seems like the depression has kicked in a little bit stronger. Um, to the point that I'll be honest with you that I am struggling to get out of bed in the morning. And I even shared with some of my friends that it got so bad that a week ago, I even skipped out of church, which we don't normally do. I skipped out of church and I guess I could say, I just didn't want to be nice to anybody. It just took so much effort to, to, to get up out of bed and to, to get ready. And then I would have to be nice that I didn't think I could do it. So we ended up staying home from church and I stayed in bed until 11 o'clock in the morning. I got up, um, I think I sat on the couch for like an hour or an hour and a half. Then I went back to bed and I slept again for about another hour, hour and a half, got up and did something. And then I took a nap on the couch and I still slept that night. So, that's depression because I wasn't sick and no matter what I did, I kept feeling like if I could just sleep a little bit longer, I think I'd feel better and I feel like I could get up and do something, but I couldn't. And I can't say the depression has come on because there's been a significant decline in Pete's um, illness. Yes, the weather has been terrible here in Huntsville, um, so that plays a big part in it, but I can't really say it's anything in particular, but the depression really has hit. It's gotten to the point where I don't want to get out of bed. I would prefer to cancel things. Uh, we were supposed to go last week uh, with a group at church to the Nashville to Lawn and Garden um, show, and we didn't end up going, just couldn't get the motivation to go. Um, yes, some things are going on with Pete that are frustrating and that type of stuff. I'm trying to take care of myself, but I'm telling you, it's hard. Um, did you realize there's 264 million people worldwide that are suffering from some sort of depression? A few years ago, I did bite the bullet and, and got on some medicine. I had to try different types of medicine that worked um, for me. And really, almost anything works for me. The problem that I ran into with each medicine is side effects. It's balancing the different side effects. And for those, that, who, uh, those of you who have known me before, um, I've gained a lot of weight. I've gained a good 50 pounds, and it's from the antidepressants. And, but I really don't have a choice because I'm at the point where I really cannot function without the antidepressant. And I really feel, I guess I feel like a failure because I've let depression over my husband's diagnosis, I guess, get the best of me. And I shouldn't. But there's, there's a whole lot of things that go with that. So anyhow, I'm trying to take control of things. I put in a call to my doctor's office today to see if we could get um, a dosage increased on my antidepressant. I put in a phone call to my care coordinator through the Alzheimer's um, Society to see if she can help plug me in. Um, apparently, there's some counselors and some psych psychiatrists in the area who work specifically with caregivers. Um, that um, spouses and things like that with Alzheimer's. So trying to get plugged in with that. I do um, get together once a month with a great support group here in Huntsville. Um, if anybody would like to join us, we meet the first Tuesday of every month at Latham on Weatherly Road at 10 a.m. So if you're affected in any way by anybody who has Alzheimer's disease, please join us. It's a great group of people, um, been very supportive. So I'll be there tomorrow, so they'll be able to help me along along the way as well. Um, I am out in the parking lot because I just decided 
I'm doing something for me and it's dreary outside. Pete watches CNN all day long and I am so sick and tired of listening to all the Democratic primary stuff and all this coronavirus and Pete's obsessed. He It's one of the side effects uh, or one of the things with um, Alzheimer's disease is they get obsessed about certain things and he is obsessed with this coronavirus and it's I just I finally had to leave I said I'm going to get um, a pedicure and of course he's thousand questions why are you doing that what made you all of a sudden decide to do that but you know what I just decided to do it and I'll show you a picture afterwards I decided just to get a very bright sunny color because I needed something for me and then uh, this weekend is our church rummage sale and so I am going to drop Pete off on Thursday to help set up and just kind of spend some time there and tinker and I've made an appointment for myself to get a massage and that's something that I need to do. I'm harboring a lot of stress in my muscles and um, like I said I don't know why all of a sudden the depression has gotten so bad but I've got so many wonderful friends who are more than willing to help me. Um, friends that have reached out just today in particular, Belinda Freeman reached out from church and said she's really worried about me and um, they prayed for me at church. And the thing is, is people wanna do things for me. I don't wanna go anywhere. I don't wanna get out of bed. I don't, that's how bad the depression is. So, and people say, just pick up the phone, give me a call. I don't even wanna talk on the phone. So right now, prayers are what are most important. So we just ask that you be with people who are who are struggling with depression. And um, prayers are really important. And one thing that I think probably kind of helped, I don't know, spiral things a little bit more for us is um, Pete is one of seven children and one of his older sisters, Kathy, passed away a couple years ago at a young age in her early 60s of breast cancer. And her husband, Jim, um, passed away very unexpectedly um, this past weekend, Saturday night. Uh, he had had a massive heart attack. He was 66 years old and he passed away and left their two children who are about the same ages as our children. Now they don't have any parents left. And that really hit me hard that here's, you know, we're at the point now we're starting to lose, we've lost our parents already, we're starting to lose um, siblings, and that Leslie and Alex now have lost their parents at such a young age, but really what hit hard is it has no effect on Pete because he doesn't remember, and so I can't talk to him about it. Um, I mentioned it to him, we talked a little bit, and he's forgotten, but, which I guess is good for him, but it's hard for me in the healing process because I can't talk about it because he doesn't remember it. And I don't want to keep bringing it up because I don't want to affect him in that way. So anyhow, just wanted to be real with all of you because I think a lot of times people think um, that life is always cheery and whatever. This is me. This is real. This is depression. Um, I'm doing the best I can. Um, so anyhow, I'm just asking for prayers, and I think what will help is I am going to see Miss Ellie on Saturday, so that always helps me. But so anyhow, just asking for prayers. But I did treat myself today and got a wonderful. I upgraded to the spa pedicure, so I got the the scrub, and I got the um, the mask and the stones, and I chose the um, the orange scent, so it kind of smelled like springtime and summer. So that was nice. So I really enjoyed that, and I am going to treat myself to a massage too. So anyhow. Just reach out to people who are um, struggling with depression and um, don't put too much pressure on them because it is hard to get out of the house when you're feeling depressed. But send them a text. Um, just let them know that, it, that you're thinking about them. So anyhow, just wanted to keep it real and let you know that um, depression, depression is hitting me a little bit harder than normal right now. But um, anyhow, say a couple prayers for me and I'm hoping to get back on track. So until we meet again, remember to enjoy your journey.